Hi everyone, welcome to GT Coding. In this video, we are going to create the 404 page for our WordPress website. So first of all, let me show you what is 404. So we'll click on visit site over here. And here we have our website. If you click on blog, we have this URL gtcoding.local slash blog. Now if we go ahead and uh, type something random over here, we can see that it says page not found. So this is what is called a 404. Now let's go ahead and create our own custom 404 page. So let's go to our code editor and let's create a new file called 404.php. One thing I notice over here is that we have a file called singular.php and we don't need it anymore because uh, we had created it for uh, demonstrating the WordPress hierarchy. So we'll just go ahead and delete that file. Alright, so now we'll go ahead and code our 404 page. So first of all, uh, we will get the header and uh, then we'll create a division with a class name of container 404. And then we'll have a heading with a class name of page heading. And uh, here we will type something. So now here we want to add an image. And for the source, we can give a URL of unsplash.com. It has a service where uh, you can uh, plug in a URL over here and it will display random images about uh, different search terms. So here we're going to type HTTP source.unsplash.com slash and then here we have to type the dimensions and uh, then the search term we will type cats over here now we'll have an s3 and uh, here we will type something and then we'll have a ul and uh, some allies and we'll give links of some of our um, pages and for the link over here we will type echo site URL and uh, slash blog over here and we'll just duplicate this line of code. We'll type projects list about me and uh, home page. We'll change these links. So now the last thing we need to do is add the footer. Now let's go ahead and see how the 404 page looks. So here we have the 404 page and we have a random image of a cat and we have the links over here. Now let's go ahead and style the 404 page. So we'll go to style.css and uh, down here we will create a new comment and here we will type container 404 and we'll type display flex flex direction column align items to the center and a padding of 24 pixels and then we will type container 404 img and we will give it a width of 480 pixels so here we can see our 404 page we'll just correct uh, this spelling error over here so we'll go to 404 and uh, so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and uh, if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to get the latest updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day